Hi everyone and welcome to Bear Clooney Watches channel. I am Bear who loves watches. Today on my wrist, Rolex Explorer 39mm. Uh, this is my cave and on this channel usually we search for a perfect timepiece. Today, as you could see from the introduction, it is a slightly different video. You see, I personally enjoy watching uh, people showing their everyday carry on other YouTube channels, so I thought I would contribute the same. I think EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry, slightly shows what type of individual we are, slightly describes our habits, our personality, just like, let's say, watch collection. When it comes to EDC, my personal taste is pretty much uh, relevant to the quality of the items. Uh, I am not a huge fan on quantity, and especially I'm not a fan of overlapping. What I mean by overlapping, uh, I don't see a purpose of having a flashlight in your EDC if you actually have the iPhone which is equipped with a flashlight. Uh, those are some things that maybe I see differently. However, um, besides the quality of the items, I also like matching things, uh, pairing things. I enjoy pairing even among watches, such as pairing black uh, Daytona with white Daytona. Uh, such as pairing the Rolex Explorer 39mm with uh, Oyster Perpetual white dial 39mm. Uh, I mean, to me, uh, there is definitely a lot of fun in matching and finding a common thing uh, between the items which are completing the EDC. So why don't we kind of jump in Bear Clooney Watches studio and just basically take a look at my EDC. Join me. And here we are at Bear Clooney Watches studio with the not usual setup for this, uh, for this environment. We are for the first time looking at uh, Bear Clooney's EDC, Everyday Carry. Now, all the items from, from, this, um, from this EDC uh, are mainly interchangeable, and I will show you some other options that I introduce to my Everyday Carry. There are certain that are not, uh, and I will mention those, obviously. So why don't I start from the left to right? On the left, we have uh, my choice for sunglasses, which are the Persol. Uh, good quality uh, sunglasses. I love their design. Uh, I love the attention to detail. I love their function. Um, and I also like the fact that they are not necessarily overly, overly expensive. So... This would be uh, my number one choice and in the aspect of this EDC uh, sunglasses. Now, they are interchangeable. Um, the other option that I often like to introduce are my Aviator uh, vintage uh, sunglasses, which you could see uh, being worn by Don Draper in one of my favorite shows, uh, Mad Men. And this is probably why I love these uh, sunglasses so much. Um, they really wear nicely. They are, they are unique. They are high quality. And uh, they bring certain, uh, certain pastimes into new world. And the um, third option for my sunglasses is uh, a vintage Ray-Ban. I love their vintage look, uh, again, I love their quality, I love their function, uh, I think they're so cool. Um, again, the uh, aviator style is what uh, seems to appeal to me the most. So those would be my um, three, three choices. I'm also in the process of uh, 
purchasing the uh, Mont Blanc sunglasses, uh, which I think will nicely complement my my uh, Mont Blanc uh, wallet and my Mont Blanc uh, pen. Um, obviously, the most interchangeable component of this EDC is the watch, but I thought that uh, Rolex Explorer uh, truly looks nice with this EDC, so that was the choice. Uh, or the other one that would also look kind of cool with this would be the OP39 uh, Rolex, uh, again very classy and nicely fitting the look of this everyday carry. Most common ring I wear, because most of my watches are uh, stainless steel, is this uh, handmade, uh, made by my friend uh, Resh, um, who is exceptional jeweler. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the ring with the Saint Sava cross, which is obviously very important and symbolic to any Serbian, including me. And uh, this is a ring that is most often found on my finger. On the left hand, because we Serbs wear the wedding ring, on the right hand. So this is the ring that's obviously not interchangeable. It's symbolic. It is the ring was given to me by Bunny Clooney. And it will stay on my finger on the right hand uh, for the rest of the time. And uh, another non-interchangeable thing is this um, uh, holy bracelet uh, from the mountain Athos in Greece, from the very old Serbian monastery Hilandar, which was uh, brought to me by my brother who was uh, going there as engineer to work on some uh, uh, reconstruction after the big fire that happened there. And uh, he brought me this beautiful item, which is uh, definitely a symbol of my fate, and it's always with me. Uh, when it comes to rings, uh, regular rings, the other rings that I wear are mainly uh, stainless, uh, sorry, the, the, the silver, because they are nicely matching my Watches were predominantly uh, stainless steel. Uh, this one with the blue stone uh, obviously will match nicely watches with the blue elements. Uh, this is the one I like to, to wear with, uh, with the Hulk because you obviously of its green stone. Um, a little more dressy that I wear with the Dayjust or let's say with the Grand Seiko SPGH001. Um, the other little more dressy piece, uh, which is also uh, uh, kind of with a beautiful black stone and some set stones on the side. Uh, this one I like to wear with my uh, Planet, Planet Ocean uh, because of its kind of unique uh, orange stone and uh, my Planet Ocean has this beautiful orange bezel. And uh, probably most important ring next to my wedding ring is the ring given to me by my father, which has the beautiful uh, stylized um, uh, initials, which are matching my grandfather's initials, my father's initials, and my initials. Uh, this is the ring that I wear usually with my uh, black and gold two-tone uh, vintage uh, Rolex GMT. Uh, but this ring is so important to me on so many levels. Uh, when it comes to next item, which is the, the keychain, as you could see, I am uh, I'm obviously representing my uh, liking for a certain brand which will not come as a surprise to many who watch my, ch my channel. Uh, we're talking about, obviously, keychain from one of the Basel Worlds, uh, which is the Rolex keychain. Occasionally, I will put my, um, my uh, Mont Blanc uh, leather, leather uh, keychain. And the other keychain also that I tend to use sometimes with a more nautical theme 
again Rolex it goes great with the Rolex Yachtmaster for example um, so these are kind of also interchangeable and a part of my EDC uh, when it comes to uh, pens they are this is the most common one I use and most common with me which is the standard Mont Blanc pen uh, very dependable very simple very classy um, I love uh, how it nicely matches this EDC especially the wallet uh, which was um, a gift from uh, Cat Clooney my beautiful son uh, who obviously knows my taste and uh, I think it's a beautiful wallet and it's nicely uh, is part of my uh, daily routine um, the other wallet that occasionally jumps into into this whole scene is the Rolex Rolex wallet uh, which uh, in this case is not in use but I don't mind showing it to you because occasionally this beautiful cognac uh, leather looking um, wallet jumps into my uh, EDC and takes the main role um, the other items the other pens that are often in my in my daily routine for example this cross cross pen I love that company again not very expensive uh, I love the two-tone look on it and it nicely matches some of my two-tone watches uh, vintage uh, Parker which is so cool uh, it's very much a madman uh, look and that style um, two fanboy pens I mean we got this Rolex pen uh, which doesn't often end in, the, in my uh, daily daily uh, carry-on um, the other fan pen again a Rolex a Rolex pen uh, which I love to pair with my uh, uh, Hulk uh, for obvious reasons and uh, occasionally when I wear either my um, uh, Poliot uh, Strela or my um, even more my um, Omega Man on the Moon Speedy uh, this uh, Fisher space pen uh, represents a nice accessory and nice theme as this was a pen used on Apollo missions and I think it goes so nicely with um, Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon and uh, obviously always in my EDC is uh, the uh, uh, trusty uh, 16 gigabyte uh, memory stick uh, you never know why you might need it um, when it comes to nice again those are very interchangeable this I really like the the style of the Leol I think they're so cool and their quality is exceptional um, I like the size on this one too it's it's uh, it's just perfect size it's like a pen knife uh, and uh, believe it or not uh, knife is often used in in daily routine and it does have a great uh, value being a part of everyday carry the other knives that are often visiting my EDC is the uh, Rolex uh, Rolex knife obviously again uh, matching my watches uh, matching watches are always the centerpiece let's not forget that watches are most important um, the next uh, uh, slightly larger and kind of gold and blue uh, Leol which nicely goes with my bluesy um, I love matching this with my bluesy um, with my Omega watches which is my uh, second favorite brand I like this vintage Omega knife and uh, it's so classy and so timeless um, and as you know I'm also a fan of a Breitling I love my uh, discount diver um, Omega uh, sorry the Breitling uh, Super Ocean and I like to uh, wear my to bring with uh, me uh, my Breitling knife at those moments 
Um, often I like to feel French, so if it's not Layol and I'm wearing my Cartier or I'm wearing my Breguet Type 20, a Breguet Type 20, really, I love my Opinal knife. Again, love the size of this one. I love the simplicity, uh, functionality, uh, quality. Uh, there is a lot of videos done on this knife explaining their background, their history. Um, and I think it's nicely serving its uh, its purpose. So, uh, and on the right side, uh, you can also see the um, my um, bracelet, which I like to wear, which is silver. Again, the main reason, obviously, being most of my watches are uh, stainless steel. So this bracelet also was handmade, Cuban-style links by my friend Vraj. It goes nicely with uh, with this ring and uh, they kind of complement each other but there are some other bracelets that occasionally end up on my right wrist. Never with watch. I just don't like that look. This is the French one. It has a beautiful silver touch uh, and blue elements. Obviously with any watches with the blue elements this uh, is a nice choice. Uh, this one um, has a black and gold components. Um, it goes beautiful with my father's ring uh, and the GMT uh, two-tone black and gold. And uh, on the leisure days, it wonderfully goes with another one passion of mine. Um, there is a Cohiba, Cohiba lighter and a cigarette, cigar cutter uh, right here. So those are those occasional EDC elements. Obviously, they're not in everyday carry, but they become a part of it on the days when we take a pleasure in smoking a beautiful Cohiba cigar. And uh, uh, this is a really another nice one that is very neutral. It has these uh, gray tones. And it nicely matches a majority of my of my watches. So this kind of concludes presentation of my uh, EDC, my everyday carry. Um, I hope it kind of gives you the idea what I like and what are my favorite items. Uh, now we can simply go back to Bear Clooney's cave and wrap up this presentation and this video. And we are back at Bear Clooney's Cave. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of Bear Clooney's EDC, Everyday Carry. To sum it up, Bear Clooney really pays attention to quality, function, pairing, and design. He doesn't like overlapping. Now, Everyday Carry changes consistently. It evolves. It changes and evolves with our tastes, with us as a person, with our environment, and our place where we live. So ultimately, this is why we probably have a lot of interest to see other people's EDCs. Because it's a peek into their environment, into them as a person, into their tastes. It tells us a little more about them and helps us complete the picture about who they really are. It certainly doesn't complete the picture, but it gives us a peek. At the end, I would like to thank you all for coming to my channel. I hope you subscribe. I hope if you like this video, you click on like, and I hope you join me in the future. I love to have you here. Have a great one, everyone.